guys, it's Dan again. Have you guys ever had a subwoofer or wanted a subwoofer, uh, but really didn't have a good way to amplify it and get streaming media and all that sort of stuff into it? Well, I tell you, I've never had a subwoofer just land in my lap, but, um, well, here we go. <laughs> Take a look. I've had this subwoofer for quite a long time. The amplifier blew up on it. Yeah, I could fix the amp on it, but you know, at the end of the day, it's an old amp. It doesn't have any streaming capabilities or IP capabilities. So I'm really looking at something a little bit different to do with this thing. So, you know, I got to thinking, and I know aerolix has got the 2.0 channel amps, but now they've just come out with a 2.1 channel. I, I want to introduce you to this bad boy. This is a perfect project for this little uh, subwoofer set up here and I'm looking forward to getting it installed uh, into this box. So inside our box we've got a nice Aerolic 2.1 channel amplifier that's 50 watts per channel uh, on the uh, two speakers and then for the subwoofer it's got 100 watts per channel so you've really got a lot of power uh, on this puppy. Um, so let's take a look on the details of what this comes with and uh, what you might be able to do with it. Let's take a close look at the board. We've got what's a little bit different on this Aerolic board. We've got a volume, we've got a volume knob, a volume controller, we've got our bass controller, and then we've also got a subwoofer level controller. So that's uh, some really nice uh, feature upgrades that they've add, added to their board, the capability of having an external uh, knob to actually control things quite quickly. All right, if you go around the board, you've got uh, some real nice uh, connections here that you can wire up. You've got your Bluetooth uh, connections that you can wire up. You've got a Bluetooth uh, antenna connector. You also have your Wi-Fi board right here and uh, a Wi-Fi external uh, connector as well. Um, so, uh, SDB, uh, you can do an external mute uh, right uh, on this board. They've got the, the wiring connectors for that. All right, going around the board even more, you've got your uh, reset button um, right in the back. You've got a nice auxiliary input here. You can also wire in a, an auxiliary input as well. You've got a micro USB connector uh, right here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. It's pretty micro. <laughs> Get it. Um, you've got your Ethernet and standard USB connectivity. Then you've got your nice uh, beefy um, speaker connector. So you've got two wires for each of the speakers and then uh, two wires for the subwoofer, of course. You've got your standard DC input. Um, then if you wanted to run uh, a different internal type power supply, you could run it right to this header right here. Um, so it's a really nicely made board. You can see it's got plenty of heat sink space to uh, dissipate all the heat. Um, nice and compact. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting this thing rocking and rolling. So I've got the Aerolic up and running on my computer speakers and the subwoofer. Um, so I just wanted to run through and give you a look at what this really looks like when I'm using the knobs, right? So um, you can hear the little clicky sounds uh, when you're adjusting the volume. Same thing for bass and treble. Okay. Um, so I'm going to switch the input real quick and we'll just see what that looks like. So I'm going to hit, give it one press, and now switch to uh, another input, another press, another press, and the last press. And we're back to the auxiliary input. All right, so uh, that's how you can easily switch between inputs right from the front panel. The tone controls, I'm going to go ahead and turn them both to the max. Turn this up so maybe you can hear it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to zero out the bass first by clicking it once. That's zeroed out the bass. I'm going to zero out the treble. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, I think, uh, but basically it's zeroing those two functions out. So I can bring them back up, turn it down a little bit. And there you have it, simple as that, super simple. Uh, again, you can put uh, a full keypad on this if you wanted to. 
Um, but uh, on mine, I kept it simple. All right, so again, the sound quality is fantastic. It's uh, as good as the Up2 Stream 2.0 that I reviewed. Uh, I'll put that review on the back end of this one. And um, I highly recommend these kits. Uh, they're super easy to use. Everything just works straight out of the box. You don't have to, uh, you know, add anything to the kit. It just works, right? So fantastic, and thanks for watching.